Hey, today I'm going to be extracting some honey. We're going to run it through the centrifuge indoors. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Uh, yeah, the bees are on the outside of that hive because that hive I took a honey super off of and I got some uh, full frames of honey. So we're going to take it into the RV and put it in the centrifuge and work with honey indoors this time without being accosted by bees. The reason why they're gathered on the outside is because I use this product right here. This product, you, you just spray it in the hive, close the lid, and it clears all the bees out of the hive or out of the honey super. So you can take the honey super out and remove the frames and put them in a separate container. I put them in this tote, uh, bee free, to get them away from the beehives and over into a screened area where I'm not going to be accosted by bees. Yeah, these girls are a little put out right now and there's my stack of honey supers I'm gonna go ahead and let the bees uh, clean up some frames that don't have much honey on them I'm not gonna bother extracting them so we're just gonna leave those and we'll get them winterized and put away for the winter now you could typically spray this on what they call a fume board it's like a top cover with a um, a spongy layer on it and you spray that spongy layer and put it on there for a day or two and it just drives the bees out of that hive and uh, that's what you can typically do with this product so I got a couple of nice full frames of honey we're gonna go ahead and extract them I've got my honey comb yeah and then I'm gonna go ahead and rake and break open the cap the seal caps. These are wax caps, and these wax caps can actually be harvested, collected, and sold to uh, the cosmetic industry. Well, that smells good already. Okay, I'm going to set this down here and turn it and do the other one. And this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Spilled some honey on there. Can't let good honey go to waste. Okay, we'll put these lids on this. This is very nice and relaxing in here because I'm protected. But we're just going to give it a gentle spin. And you can already see the honey being thrown against the outside walls.
and spin them out the other way Oops, down here. You can see how that's loaded with honey. We're just going to flip the centrifuge around. So nice, no bees being harassing me. There's not a bee in here. Yeah, I should have done this in the first place. That first bee, uh, honeybee extraction was a huge failure. And then I'll try to harvest what I can out of that pitcher down there. And uh, we'll go from there. Also, don't spin it so hard. Oh yeah, we got the deliciousness of the honey uh, collecting at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to close up the trailer, close all the windows, and tomorrow afternoon I'll come in and finish rendering the honey. I want it to be nice and hot in here so the uh, rest of the honey melts off of those frames into the bottom and then honey will be, the viscosity of the honey should be fluid enough to be able to strain out through these baskets. I got, a, 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 I got two strainers. I've got a coarse one and a fine one and we'll just strain the honey through there and filter it but not pasteurize it my honey will be all natural unpasteurized and we'll just filter out all the wax caps i won't have enough to sell to the cosmetic industry but um i'll have something <laughs> yep so let me close the windows And tomorrow evening I'll come out and we'll process it because it's supposed to get warm tomorrow. All right, we're done. I'll be back in a video second and we'll go ahead and filter this and pour the honey out into the, uh, oh yeah, it's pulled in the bottom. I'll probably get about two jars out of it. That's typically what I get out of the, each frame. So I only got two frames out of that one hive because the bees weren't too busy this year. Uh, actually, I already, that hive is the only one that produced honey. And I, 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 I harvested eight frames earlier, which turned out to be a disaster. That's a 10 frame honey super. So I saved two frames for later. The other frames left in there today, they just started building them out or pulling the wax comb out, but not filling them at all. So there's nothing in there. But it's the end of the honey flow season. Now I'm feeding the bees. And check out my video on my bee feeder. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to let this set in the heat of the RV in the sun. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm dripping. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day. Um, let this set in here in a nice, warm, close-up RV so the viscosity of the honey would change and I could get it to flow easier. But I'm going to try and experiment, too. I'm going to get some help. We're going to get this uh, honey filtered through my double basket here and in into the container, and we'll take it into the kitchen and deca uh, can it into the jars. So... Uh, Let's get this job done. And I'll show you an easy way to clean this up. Easy. Okay, I have my tote. <clears throat> Remove these. Set them aside. I won't need those anymore. And take the frames out. We spun the honey out. And look, look how well the honey spread, uh, spun out of there. And this one also. Okay. 
And then we're going to take this out. out of there and we're going to take all this and set it in front of the bees and let the bees at the beehive clean it up over at the beehive we'll even set this over there but i really want to get that honey out of there so this is the experiment to help me with that and i'm going to put a heat lamp in there heat that up and give the um uh, honey a chance to become thinner and runnier so I can extract the most as mo much of the honey as I can out of this vat There we go now I'll just let that heat up and we'll wait for the honey to uh, become thinner and we'll start pouring okay the heat lamp has been setting there for an hour and it really did change that viscosity I really should be able to get that honey out of there easily so I'm going to remove the heat lamp and then I want to put this down underneath of it since it's such a sticky mess Because I'm going to have to tilt the vat forward to get the honey out of there. And I, I don't want to be dripping honey all over the floor. So. Here we go. Open that up. And let it flow. Gonna utilize the heat lamp again we're just gonna get that all that honey through as much as we can there instead of sitting there holding that I clipped it onto the the gate we'll just let that sit there and uh, let the rest of the honey flow through filter through the screens what I'll do is I'll take that bowl of honey into the house then I'll take the baskets and all the other contents for this a centrifuge out to the bee yard and let the bees clean it up. That way I don't have to worry about cleaning it up. They'll do the job. They'll do it better than I can. Huh? Okay, we're done with that. The heat lamp worked very effectively and efficiently. Now I'm just going to put the baskets right here. And then carry this out to the bee yard. But look at the amount of honey I got out of here. Look at how much I got out of two frames doing it this method. Oh, man. I'm going to go put this in the kitchen. I'll be right back. Okay, let's take the vat to the bee yard. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to take it over and give it to the bees in the flow hive. And with this, I'm just going to set it here, open it up, 
and the bees will find what they need and clean everything up. It's probably too late in the evening for them to do it, but I'm going to make sure they have every advantage to be able to, uh, yeah, get this yummy stuff. Here, let's just put this this way. There we go. And now I gotta go shut the trailer up because I'm done with the trailer right now. We're gonna go into the kitchen and see how many jars of honey we got out of two frames. That's incredible. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do that from now on. Hey, let me know in the description or let me know in your comments what you guys think about my new innovative way at extracting bee honey in a safe environment yep the rv and also using the heat lamp in a screened area so i don't have to deal with bees that last time i did this was horrible i gifted some of that honey away but this batch of honey i'm keeping for my own inventory so let's go into the kitchen and see what we can get done Okay, let's carefully decant the honey. Scrump dilly -icious. Oh my. I don't think I have enough jars. I'll have to go get some more jars. I do have um, more. Oops, I need two more jars. Okay, two more jars. Try to get every last drop. Let's put it in the microwave just for a couple of seconds. In the meantime, I can put the lids on these. Okay, this is how much honey I got out of two of those frames, that last rendering, because those were the uh, last two frames from the previous time that I didn't take out. I only rendered eight frames, and that was a 10-frame honey super. So now you have an idea, when you're not distracted or accosted by bees, how much honey you can get out of two frames. So, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can get about three jars per frame. Uh, three, th four jars per frame. Let's call it four jars per frame uh, of these little jars. So, gosh, nice. This is my first successful rendering without mess of bee honey. Well, I'm your host, Jerry Hansen, here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm, rendering honey uh, in a, an innovative way. Like I said earlier, let me know uh, in the... Um, 
comments what you think about my method, especially you beekeepers who render honey, uh, and see if uh, this is a more efficient and effective way to do it. I don't know what you guys are using, but I had to think this thing through, and I come up with this solution based upon materials that I had available to, uh, available to me so I didn't have to run out and buy anything else. Anyway, stay tuned for more adventures. Uh, you can do that by subscribing, then clicking that bell icon. That bell icon will let you to the new videos as I upload them. Give us a thumbs up, like the channel, and also click that share button. Sharing our videos on your social media platforms helps the channel out a lot. Hey. Always be safe and always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next adventure. Mm, sweet. Bye-bye now.